Welcome to Super Chat. I'm your host, Just Jess, here with my guest today, Brian Brown from Word of the Nerd Online.com and Robert Jenkins from The Adventures of Fluffy the Cat. And we're talking about this episode of Supergirl. There was a lot of sadness in this episode, and it was a lot of like a little bit of political commentary, too. Um, we see the end of our beloved couple, Alex and Maggie, and we also see. Uh, Lena Luther kind of get framed and wrongfully accused of poisoning children with lead when she created that bomb to get rid of the Daxmites. Um, big villain this week, Morgan Edge. Jerk. Just hate a, this guy Just already. a jerk one. Yeah, <laughs> We mm, don't like him. him. So the dynamic, though, was pretty cool. But we did see a side of Lena when she was going to kill him. Do you, do you think we're ever going to see Lena just fully break and go full Luther? At some point, yes. You do? Yeah. I, I mean, for the show, it. it'd have to. Yeah? Yeah, just for we dramatic. It, yeah. yeah, it's got to. I mean, it's, it's a Luther. It's going to happen If eventually. you have a Luther, you might as well go full <laughs> Luther. <laughs> we're yeah. not doing a half Luther on the show. Uh I want to know, though, okay, she doesn't know that Kara is Supergirl, and this appears to be her only friend. They make a lot of references to Lena and just, like, not having friends. It's like her and Sam, super friends. But she does not, I mean, the closeness she has to Kara, to Kara as Supergirl, and she doesn't pick up on that. Is it getting too beyond your stretch of imagination that she hasn't figured this out yet? My only issue is that so many people know it's true. Kara is Supergirl it's that true. it's not really that big a secret anymore. Yeah. And uh, I, I missed a few episodes last season, so the, the way their vibe is, I didn't know if she knew or not. I'm like, I bet you she knows. I thought knows. so, too. I was very confused. Okay, so, yeah. uh, all right. No, you're right on the point, because I think they made it unclear, but now it's clear that she doesn't know, and then nobody <laughs> seems to know, except for maybe Ruby is on to her, that Sam is having all these issues of, I guess, she's invincible, turning into rain. So we see at the very end, she has a bullet hole in her shirt from when Lena was making the speech, and a gunman tried to open fire in the audience. We see that Sam has found out that she has been shot, and then it was impervious. Uh, what do you see more development-wise for Sam as Rain? Like, what do you think is going to have to happen for her character to realize their full powers? Um, something, something tragic and public. Yeah. Um, you know, we've seen that. You know, she's protected her daughter. She got mm -hmm. shot. All that. Something's going to happen where other people see it. Yes. And plus you have that cult, and I don't think they've gone away. That's true. Um, they're, oh. you know, everything's going to work toward... still exists. Yeah. That's a good point to even think about that. Yeah. And we, we know that uh, they had Kryptonian technology. They did, uh, yeah. So there's no telling how they're going to do this, but I'm really looking forward. I'm and just, I'm loving how Supergirl has started off this Supergirl, season. Supergirl, I think, is the strongest of the shows this season. Yeah. That's my opinion. But my opinion is the one that matters. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> so um, we see, though, the, the most guardian thing this guy has ever done. James takes a bullet for Lena Luther. Um, what do you, how do you see James fitting into this season? It's been very much. He's been very much a B character. Him and Win. We haven't seen much of them. Do you think now he'll start kind of regaining the reins of Catco? He should. Yeah. I, I, I've never liked him as Guardian. I, I thought no. that was a really bad idea. Yeah. Um, so the, the sooner he gets back to being Jimmy Olsen, I think it's going to be better overall yeah. for the show because there's, there's too many heroes running around. I and mean, that's across all the shows. There's too many heroes True. running around yeah. uh, to focus on just like one character. True. And I think Supergirl is such a strong character as it is, she could in essence, run the show herself. Yeah, it's almost yeah. insulting. It is. You yeah. Know, you've got these side stories and, you know. Why does she need a team? Why does she yeah. need, she doesn't, Superman doesn't team. have a team. Well, she needs, I like that she has the team <clears throat> to help her with, you know, backup and guidance, and but I don't think she needs, like, a hero team. I think she needs, but I do like that she can rely on Marsha Manhunter at times, and then even her sister. Uh, we see next week her and her sister are going to take a nice trip home because her sister's going through a bad breakup. Now, mm. How did you feel about the writing here with, with Maggie and Alex's characters? Were you pleased that they didn't do something kind of to end the relationship, like kill one off or get somebody a new job? Or did you, did you like the way that they ended? Or did, did you find it realistic? I thought it was well done um, because what they didn't 
you know, with the cliche, yeah. kill one of them off. Uh, they used a real, like, real world problem that yeah. couples, yeah. you know, go through. And it leaves the potential open for them to get back together. It does. Do you think we will see Maggie back on the show? I believe so. Yeah. At, at some point, um, I, I'm hoping they do get back together because that relationship, I thought, was just so important yeah. to for the representation more than anything else. Yeah. But it did carry the story along very and, well. And I think it really developed Alex as a character. Yes. And we're going to see more background of Alex and Kara as they take a trip home next week on the next episode of Supergirl. So take a look at this trailer, and we will be right back. Welcome home. I'm ready to fly. I remember thinking I would never feel at home on Earth. But I feel at home with you. You and I could get through anything together. Let me tell you. I'm ready to fly. You're not the only one with a secret. Mom? Supergirl. All new episode Monday at 8, 7 central on the CW.